Hello from Slovenia again. It's a typical autumn fall day here in Slovenia. So I chose again some fall colors, but I will do a flower on this chrome green background with of course paper napkin and my flower shaped cup and I will use 10 by 10 inch canvas today and I will flood my canvas with this chrome pebeo chrome green and I'll be back okay so my base coat is done I'm a little afraid that I will that this background will not work nice regardless when I will you know use my paper napkin that maybe it will pull a lot of color off but it is what it is and today I will use my Vallejo pearl medium mixed with a little bit of iridescent precious gold from Pebeo and of course my pouring medium and Naples yellow light Amsterdam and Amsterdam Azo yellow light and this is that mixture of um, hmm, Pebeo iridescent precious gold and Vallejo Azo yellow and this one is Vallejo Azo orange even though it's kind of Indian I I almost said Indian summer because sometimes autumn is Indian summer but it's Indian yellow kind of sh shade I will say so let's start and I will start with this Naples yellow light and if you enjoy watching paint flow you can bear with me otherwise you can fast forward this part so this was my pearl and so yellow light and it's twelve o'clock. It's noon here in Slovenia just layering my pearl between this pearl looks really like pearl <laughs> um, and my Indian yellow <laughs> Ooh, maybe overdo this one and pearl again and Konequa down This one is Liquitex one. And I will do another row of course. Of all these five paints. With pearl in between and then I will do one row just with colors like I did the last time. And I like it that the center is more colorful or how can I say we will see if this will work today too I did that with um, a purple flower on a silver background I love it I love it I love it where I used 
this little pig of velvet mixed in pearl white. Not in pearl white, in pearl medium. <laughs> I'm so used to talk about my pearl white that, you know, sometimes I just say pearl white. Uh, always, if you have some questions, you can always ask in the comments and I will try to answer, maybe not right away. Uh, because sometimes it's a lot to answer and, you know, we have life to, too, so sometimes it's just hard to answer er every comment in every social media. This one is so weird looking. Um, it is a heavy body paint, but uh, still, you know, I did mix it with water before I start adding my pouring medium. So here I will just go with all the colors. Naples yellow and Azo light. And this kind of Zimf color, we would say. And Indian. <gasps> and I almost ruined my painting. I really hope that this Kunequadon will not ruin everything because it's really weird. Okay, and now I will draw some petals and then we will do a paper napkin part, so let's do that. Uh, not necessarily that I'm doing a sunflower but I want to have some kind of sunflower look to it so we will see let's leave this and see what is underneath so I will definitely Try to drag a little more of this color into the middle because I don't want to have a lot of green. So I will just try to I don't know. I will def but I don't want to drag this towards the middle because I want to have it that way. I don't know, let's see. I will grab my napkin and spray it with water a little bit to soften it down. And I'm pretty sure that I will have to add uh, this green around when I will leave this and maybe even spin it once, we will see. Put the napkin down in the middle. And the second half. Okay. Just hope that I will not have a ton of green in the middle. This is my fear because I don't want here on the corner so I can of course save it with some more paint. I knew that it will look a little like that.
try to grab all these corners here. Lift. I'm glad that I don't have a lot of green in the middle. I definitely have to add this green around. And I will torch it and then spread this and then we will see. Definitely less lacing than with my pearl white, but don't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, because I did mix, you know, some iridescent precious gold in it, so I will definitely have to spin this once just to because I didn't want to mix my base too thin because I was afraid that that way it will it this uh, paint is level out you know most but not totally completely sometimes sometimes you can see some imperfections and that's why I want to spin it a little bit. But I want it to go that way, so I will put it a little more to this side. So let's do that. Totally elongated. Let's go a little to this side. And now I will stop. I will just try to go a little over this side and then bring it back. I can hope that I will not totally ruin it. So weird. I got cells instead of lacing and I don't know what to think about it. It is kind of autumn fall looking flower but I was hoping for a little different one I didn't think that I will see as much of this orange here you know around I don't like this one Okay, so here is a close-up. I did work on my sides that they are covered with green because, you know, it was a little tricky. And now I will show you how different. I know that once this happened to me before, but I don't know exactly what I did, so maybe I already try to add something to pearl medium. But with pigments it worked really great, so I can't wait to get more of those little piggy pigments to play with. But not bad but different so this was my autumn flower 
for today and see you on the next one. Bye!